Hi guys! Before starting this video on the Zero Shuffle, I just want to give you a quick reminder that we have a giveaway up and running. So if you haven't already, make sure to go watch the video popping up right now to join the giveaway to get a chance to win a brand new deck of playing cards. And there you will also find a very, very cool trick that I think you'll enjoy. So after you watch this video, make sure to go over there and join the giveaway. Thank you so much. Let's get into the video right now. Okay, so this is video number two of the Zero Shuffle. If you haven't watched the first video, you have to go to E.S. Andrew's channel to watch part one over there. He has a wonderful channel, so make sure to go there and subscribe to it and watch that video. I have a link in the description. Okay, let's get into part two. Now, a problem with that two shuffle sequence is the fact that the top card will stay in place all the time. So if you do it with the top card face up, you can see that it doesn't go anywhere. And you know, to the keen observer, they might, uh, you know, they might notice that. Probably they won't, but you know, some people don't like that. So another way of doing it is this, where you cut to the right this time. So you're gonna cut to the right. Again, you shuffle under a known number of cards, like this. You square up, but you keep that break again, remember? Now you cut to the left, you shuffle under the same number of cards, and you square up, but this time you have to keep the break a second time, like this. And then you're just gonna cut that bottom portion to the top. So from the front it looks like this, remember, this time we cut to the right, we shuffle under a known number of cards using that dynamics we've gone through. Then we square up, but we keep that break, remember? We cut to the right, and we square up, we keep that break again, we give it a cut, and again, we retain the order of the entire deck. So now we're gonna talk a little bit about what I believe is the original version of the Zero Shuffle. So the broad strokes of this is that we're going to extract a part, about half the deck from the middle. This is what I talked about earlier. And then the exact same thing, but we're gonna keep a break here underneath a couple of cards, some cover cards. And then it's the exact same thing. We just shuffle into and we square up. And of course that retains the order of the entire deck. Now in a little bit more detail. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna riffle up with your right thumb and I think it's easiest just lift a couple of cards with your left thumb as you extract that middle part. But now it's important to remember to keep that break with your left thumb. But then you continue the exact same way. You form the V, you lay a little bed, you shuffle, but you end of course with that cover block from the left thumb. From here on it's the exact same way. You disengage and you square up just like that. One little thing I noticed, probably someone else has noticed this as, as well, but I haven't seen it elsewhere, is when you extract that, if you tap up here, you're actually going to form a little bit of a step right there. So now you don't have to hold the break because it's very easy to simply feel with your thumb when you reach that step. So that is something to, you know, play around with. One last thing to think about is your gaze when you do this because well, some, some people think it's awkward to do this middle pullout. You can use your gaze as misdirection. So you look up as you extract that middle, middle uh, block. You look down as you shuffle. And then you look up again as you disengage. And then you can like, look down at the end of the squaring action, for example. That way you will control their attention as well. So from the front, it looks like this. We extract that middle portion. We tap the formation, the Sarosh thingy, and again, we have retained order of the entire deck. Finally, the last way of doing it, as I see quite often on YouTube, is actually giving it a slip cut. I don't think this has as good cover, but now you don't have to hold a break. And now you can do the Sarosh shuffle under one card only, okay? So you simply apply some pressure with your left index finger as you cut like this. And now you can let that fall. And as I said, simply zero underneath one card, like so. 
Okay guys, so I hope you got something from this video. As I said, this is just the basics. And if you want a really good understanding of the Zero Shuffle, you should probably look for other sources as well. You can start by looking on YouTube, then you can continue if you want to, to for example, Card College. In volume three, he goes through the Zero Shuffle. This is where I first learned it. And it's a wonderful source. Another must watch. I believe is the Jason England download. It's a wonderful tribute to Herb Saro and as always Jason England's teaching and his style is just you know on another level so please get that and he will also go through a number of sources in that tutorial if you want to look even further. So I hope you like that. I again want to thank E.S. Andrew so much. Okay so let me know in the comments what you think about this and if you have any questions and please remember to subscribe and like like this video if you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Bye bye.